So I saw this. This tweet went viral with uh, 83,000 likes. Um, this is, I don't know who this person is on Twitter, but uh, she said, my latest obsession is the woman on TikTok whose boyfriend of eight years bought a house solely in his name and is making her remodel it and pay half the expenses. Like, girl, you're getting his house ready for him and his future wife. Parentheses. It's not going to be you. Oh, that is absolutely correct. Poor thing. So this is the context. There's a 28-year-old woman on TikTok. She's now deactivated her account. I hope that she's okay, honestly. Um, She's helping her boyfriend of eight years remodel his house. However, he purchased the house in his name, is charging her rent, and is, according to her, making her pay half of the remodeling expenses. In the original video, the text reads, what it feels like to have your boyfriend of eight years buy a house and then charge you rent to live in it while making you both design director and general contractor of renovation and then in the video she is like i don't know ripping up carpet or ripping off um ripping off the walls or something like that i'm not really sure wallpaper um and so a lot of people had criticisms and questions about this and so she answered some of those questions here's thought six someone for eight years without a ring and that's totally fine like that's your prerogative um, but it works for us. Next thing is that I pay my boyfriend rent. In the past, when we've rented properties together, we've split the rent. Now my boyfriend has purchased a house. I'm still an adult that needs a place to live and pays for the place she lives. I just happen to pay that money to my boyfriend. People are upset that I'm doing this work for free and I'm not gaining equity in this house. Way that I look at it, and he was able to buy this house because that has been a goal of his. I didn't have the ability to take on that risk. I don't see it as my place to like reap those gains. Um, well, like, let's just go back to the basics before we even talk about like the finances of this and not having equity in the house is that you shouldn't be living with your boyfriend, shouldn't be living with your boyfriend. And I know that that is so scandalous to say today. And I'm assuming that I don't think that this girl identifies as a Christian, but you shouldn't be living with your boyfriend, not just because of the sin that it is, um, but also because it increases the likelihood of you guys getting a divorce. It makes your breakup, if you do get married, uh, it makes your breakup a lot messier uh, as well because you have so much uh, inter interwoven. You have so much to detangle and so much to detach from. And whether this woman realizes it or not, she has in her mind become a wife. Like she has in her mind committed her body and her heart and her soul and her mind and her money to this person who very clearly does not care about her. I mean, he might care about her in some way. He doesn't care about her enough to take care of her and to marry her and to protect and to provide for her like a man should because he doesn't want to. What did we say last time? If he wanted to, he would. Girl, if he wanted to, he would. He doesn't want to. He does not want to make you his wife. And so what the original tweet said that uh, you are getting his house ready for him and his future wife and his future kids, it's not going to be you and they're not going to be yours. I do think that's true. And that might sound harsh, but I would move out in a heartbeat and just recognize what is being done to you by someone who doesn't really love you. He doesn't. I'm not saying he has no feelings for you, but this is not what love looks like. This is this is a man who isn't very manly. He's not very masculine. He's not providing for you the way that his instincts should drive him to provide for you and to protect for you. And you just need to get out. You are wasting your time and your energy and your money and your love on someone who ultimately is going to commit to someone else besides you. And that's just the harsh truth of it. And again, yeah, this is just not a very good financial decision for you either. Like he is getting a great deal out of this. He's getting a lot of money. I mean, you're paying him for rent. That's one. He doesn't have to pay a general contractor now because you're doing that. He doesn't have to pay a designer now because you're doing that. And so yeah, he gets a lot out of this and you get absolutely nothing. You get absolutely nothing. You're paying to have your heart broken. So just go ahead and rip off the band-aid. As I have said many times, it is better to be single and sad than married and stuck.
So hightail it out of there, girl.